the administration is also uh, basically taking a second shot at trying to implement uh, broad-based debt relief again. Um, so their sort of so-called plan B is essentially a, a, a different route towards trying to achieve broad-based debt cancellation. This time they're gonna be using um, a separate legal authority, uh, different from the first plan that got struck down by the Supreme Court. Um, um, uh, this is under the Higher Education Act, which has uh, does expressly allow for the waiver or cancellation of student loan debt, although it's only been used in fairly limited circumstances to date. Um, but under the proposed regulations that were just released this week, um, there will be five possible pathways to relief for borrowers under this new plan. That can include borrowers who have experienced runaway interest because their payments haven't been high enough to cover interest or they were in long-term deferment and forbearances. This can include folks who qualify for or are eligible for forgiveness under existing programs, but for whatever reason have not enrolled. That could be income-driven repayment. Uh, that could be public service loan forgiveness. There will be a track for borrowers who first entered repayment 20 or 25 years ago, uh, 20 years for undergraduate loans and 25 years for borrowers who have any graduate school loans. So designed basically to wipe out the debt for people who have had these loans burdening them for a long time. Uh, another category of borrowers for folks who went to what the department calls uh, low value programs or low value institutions. Uh, these are institutions that might have lost eligibility for federal financial aid because of low graduation rates uh, or poor outcomes such as um, you know, not being able to line people up with good paying jobs. Um, and then there's going to be a fifth category for borrowers who are experiencing some sort of hardship. Uh, we're still waiting on the final regulations for that aspect of the program, but it looks like, you know, there'll be several ways of demonstrating hardship, whether it's income, expenses, other debts, uh, age, disability, status, eligibility for other government programs. 